This is a national emergency. Detonator charge. I should have gotten out of the theater about an hour ago because guess what happened to me? What? The power went out in the last 15 minutes of the movie. Ah! Uh. <laughs> We're sitting there. You can tell it's coming towards the end. You know, it's it's more of the, the courtroom um, stuff going on. And then, yeah. boom, just goes black. And you just hear the entire theater go, oh! <sighs> and we're sitting there. And then the projector starts back up after, like, a minute. And, of course, we're like, oh, go back, go back. They went back. The problem mm -hmm. was the entire screen was blurry, oh. out of focus. And then it started to go the power would go off about five more times oh. throughout the next <laughs> half an hour. And then finally... For the 15 minutes. I blame Albert Einstein because it's the scene where Albert Einstein's coming up to him at, at the house that night. And that's the oh. first time it cut off. Finally, finally, the movie starts playing. It gets past the point. We're like, okay, the movie's, I think, it's going to end. But the rest, of, I watched basically the last 15 minutes of this movie out of focus. Oh... Oh. So, that was my experience. Yeah. However, I oh. thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I call it a, I would call it a epic drama. It's a three-hour movie. It's definitely long. It's a lot of talking. It's a lot of talking, but it's done very well. It you is. Know? It is. You got your 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 action in there. It, it's just, it's what they're talking about is what intrigues you, you know? It does. It actually makes me want to learn more about Oppenheimer as a person yeah. and more about I, his story. I even looked up the the real Oppenheimer and wow, did they cast perfectly. If you see a picture of them side by side, like wow, they, okay. they look the same. You know? So I guess it wasn't just favoritism because Killian Murphy's been in like every Nolan movie since <laughs> like Batman Begins or whatever. Yeah, since but he yeah. actually fit you know, fit the and he yeah. does a great job. Kelly Murphy is great in this movie. Oh yeah. The cast in this movie, it's like every scene is another recognizable face. Yes. I the, noticed that. The cast like, it is it's stat. I mean, I knew going in this movie is gonna have a huge cast. But even then, on top of that, you're just seeing like notable actor after notable actor. It's just like yep. I I just feel like yep. it's one of those things that you were like, I need to be in this movie. I don't care if I'm in like two scenes. No, I, I, I saw that. I, I, every scene, like, wait a minute. I remember that guy. Even just visually seeing this and with the sound. And I did watch it in IMAX. Okay. It was nice. just amazing. You know, even if I was all the way to the right of the, of the row, it was packed. The theater was packed. Yeah. And on my way there, uh, I'm going through the doors. I see a bunch of, uh, a group of people with, uh, like his hat yeah people right. dressed i people dressed yep. up for this i saw a guy with a barbenheimer shirt on one half oh, said what? barben the other said half heimer it was <laughs> it was half gray half pink yeah man people were i saw a lot of people dressed yeah. up it was kind of cool yeah i, I saw, do have I a saw both nice from barbie and Oppenheimer. now you saw this in imax was this i don't know what how the theaters are down there was this the pure 70 millimeter or was this regular imax i think it's regular i'm not sure so i have a fun announcement to make next wednesday i will be driving to canada to see this in 70 millimeter Ooh. i'll be making Ooh. the trek about two hours to go see this in uh in, in the toronto area nice so i'm excited I'm, an experience i'm just excited to see this again so i can actually see the ending of the movie normally <laughs> Not blurred out. Not blurred out, out of focus. Because the last 15 minutes are really exciting, too. It really is. The very last shot was like, oof, wow. It it, it got me. Definitely yeah. the highlights for this, for, for me, for this movie, is the cast. Just having that stacked cast. Yes. Yes. Like I said, recognizable face after recognizable face. The cast does a great job, which you have to. They have to carry this type of movie. Because this is not, you know, this isn't a spoiler. This is not a typical Nolan movie. Don't go in nope. expecting big set pieces. I mean, there's big set pieces. The Los Alamos looks great. I pretty much believe that they just built rebuilt the town 
you know, for this movie. He probably did. But don't go in expecting to be like, you know, and I think he tries to do his best with making it entertaining as well mm-hmm. as informative. You know, he tries to like kind of cut little scenes in there uh, just to yeah, make it, mixes it somewhat well engaging. Then... Yeah, it's mm-hmm. not just talking heads for three hours. Like he does, right. tries to make it visually entertaining as well uh, throughout. It, it's just, it looked so, it was done very well. It really was like Nolan did it again. <laughs> I mean, he's a purist, mm-hmm. man. Shot on film. I, he's, he claims that there's no uh, visual effects or no CGI in the movie. I do wonder, because there's some scenes where I'm like, that. I, how do they? How would they have done that? You can That's, still use explosives. It's not even the explosives, but there's just some visuals that I'm like, dang, how would they have like done that practically? Oh, and if I they know did, what, then then I know what to you them, mean. But, yeah. I know what, you, what kind of, of visual effect, visual ones, yeah. Yep, I can see how they could have made some of those uh, some of those effects. Mm-hmm. You know, cause it's because they were very simple. They mm-hmm. weren't very elaborate ones. You know, outer space and whatnot. Yeah, no one knocks it out of the park again, man. Oppenheimer, Mark. the big one. Mark. We'll probably have to wait another three years. But overall, <laughs> go see it. If you happen it's... to live in one of those, if you happen to live near a theater that has that, I'm going to put a list in the video. If mm-hmm. uh, it has the whole list of the 70 millimeters, if you happen to go see it, if not, then yeah, go see it in IMAX. It looks great. It, it is definitely worth it. You'll be entertained the entire three hours. And that is our spoiler free review of Oppenheimer. Make sure to check out our full review of not Oppenheimer. We're going Barbenheimer this week. We're going to be doing Barbie, Barbie for Pop Quiz Hot Shot this Tuesday. And for our full episode on Barbie, we're bringing in a special guest star, which is also my fiance. Ooh, we got a nice Ken versus <laughs> Barbie coming up. They're gonna be going head to head, pop quiz, hot shot. Find out who does. Right. Find out who wins this Tuesday. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and stay tuned for this Tuesday for Barbie. Cut print. Moving on.